Hello guys, today I am going to show you guys how to implement a simple progress box in your Unity game project. The first thing you need to do is to create an image, then we will call this progress box. Um, in this video, I will be go a little faster because the coding there will be take some time. Here, as you can see, I prepare a sprite for it, then we will set it. Uh, let's make the box bigger, then change the color to a bit gray okay now we will add an image we will call this background stretch the background to same size with the progress box and we will change the sprite also then change the color maybe using a pink cool will do then yep the different will be we'll be using an image type field um yep image type field then we will use the vertical field method now we will implement the animation of the progress by changing the value of fuel amount. Cool. Let us add another text. We will call this level text. Then change the to center and change the work link to level 0. And overflow it. Make it bigger. Change it to white color. Cool. I think, yep. That's it. Now our progress box is ready. So let us go to a script, create a new script called progress box. Double click to edit it. Now in our script, we have to initialize a few fields. The first one will be the private text, which is the text level. Mm. Yep, text level. Let me fix the error by using the Unity engine.ui. Cool. Then followed by another field, which is the image. We call it field background. And the third serialized field will be a color, which is the default color of the background. Then followed by a integer private, integer level to determine the level. Another float current amount, which is the amount of the field background. I mean the fill amount of the fill background. So remove the update method, we'll be not using it. And we'll replace the start method by using the on enable method, which will be triggered every time the object is active. So we will set the fill background color to the color and the level equal to zero. Then current amount equal to zero also. Then we will set the field background dot field amount equal to current amount. Yep. Now we need to prepare a few method. The first method will be public void update progress, which is a public method. You can use it for anywhere else in your screen. The parameter will be a amount and a duration, which is duration of the animation zero point one. Then we will complete it later. Uh, then now we will implement a call routine. We call it fill routine, which will take a target amount and also a duration of the animation. Okay, cool. Then two helper method. The first one will be a level up. The last one will be a update level. The update level will be taking a integer level. Cool. Now we will complete the field routine first. The field routine method we will initialize a time first time equal to zero, then a temporary amount which is the current amount of our field amount. Then we will calculate the difference between the target amount and the current amount by using the target minus temporary amount. Okay, now we will set the current amount equal to our target amount. Now we will begin our animation by using a while loop when our time is less than the duration of the animation. Then we will add the time, time plus equal to duration of last frame which will be the time dot delta time then we will calculate the percentage of the fill amount that should be updated 
in this frame. So by using time divided by the duration, then we will set the fill background dot fill amount equal to the default amount, which is the temporary amount, plus the different multiplied by the part percentage. So then we have you return now for this frame. So lastly, if our current amount is greater equal to one, because the maximum amount of the fill amount will be one. So we are called the level up method. So in the level up method, we will just call the update level method by level plus one, and we will reset it back by using update progress. The amount will be minus one and a 0 0.2 of the duration for animation. So in this way, we can reset back our fill amount to zero by reduce by using a negative one. In our update level, we will set the this dot level equal to the level to be update. Then we will just update the text level plus this dot level. Yep. That's it for our fill method. So now we can call the fill routine call routine. So we will start call routine, fill routine. Now we need to get the target amount. So we will create another variable. The target amount will be the current amount plus the amount to be added. So this will be the target and the duration we are using the default value. Now um, we should prevent the update progress to be triggered twice. So we will create another field called coroutine routine. We will check whether the coroutine is started, which is not equal to none. If not equal to none, then we will stop the coroutine first before starting a new one. So in this way, we will make sure only one update progress coroutine will be triggered. Yep, mm, that's it for our script. So let's go back to Unity. We will place a script to our progress box. Then place a related field, change the color to pink, and make sure the alpha is 255. Cool. Now we can test our progress box. So let's create another button to trigger the progress box update. So <coughs> we'll call this button called test button. We'll do then create a new script for it is how you call the progress box update method. So in the script, we are just need to uh, reference to the progress box. So now we are create a method to trigger, which is the click, click method. Then we are just progress box dot update progress and in here you can fill any amount you like so I will be setting to 0 0.1 for testing purpose. Okay, cool. Then back to our Unity. Place a test script. Mm, reference the progress box. Add the listener. Reference to the test case. Cool. Now we are ready to test it. So, as you can see, when I click our test button, it will keep increasing the box, the amount of the box. Then, after it reaches the full amount, then it will reset back to zero and our level will be kept updated. Now, yep, we can improve enhance our progress box further by adding some effect and here i have prepared a fit effect actually it's actually a simple level up effect so you just need to go to your progress box script create a new field called effect prefect maybe so we will just 
look for the level up method. If the prefix is not equal to null, then we will instantiate it. So game object ob mm, ob equal to instantiate effect prefix to this game object transform pool. Then we are destroy it after one second. Yep. Now we are ready to go. Add the prefect reference to the prefect. Before level out. Okay, cool. As you can see, the effect is there. So at here, you can modify any. I mean, you can create any effect you want. What you need to do is place it into the effect prefect. So you can change the field background also, change the sprite, change the color. I mean, you can change anything on your progress box. This is how you create a simple progress box. Um, yep. Um, I think that's it for this tutorial. I hope this tutorial helps you. If it did, Please give this tutorial a like and also subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Thank you.